This is what you're gonna do when you're in the exam, just to put yourself into the right frame of mind. Because you know the answer, you've been revising the answer, you had sleepless nights preparing for these answers, right? Now it's about to actually putting it to pen to paper. And remember, put, have the right perspective. This is an opportunity for you to express yourself. You've worked so hard for this, why should you be worried? All right, everybody breathe in and breathe out. And again, breathe in. All right, this time when you breathe out, you're gonna smile as well, ready? You see how it just calms down? Another thing, we talked about the focus, all right? Let's write that down, direct your mind, focusing in the exam season. You can't be afford to be distracted. When those exam seasons start to come, you can't afford to be distracted. You can't afford to be worrying about oh, what's happening on the news or what's happening here. Sometimes you're gonna have distractions at home as well. All right, take yourself out of that, that environment. Go to the library, wherever, wherever it is. Sometimes in exam season, you need to actually move seats from the person that you always sit next to. Yeah, they're your friends. You can, you can catch up with them after the exams because you know, during those lessons, you guys just don't work well together. You always get distracted and you need to start to direct your mind. Eat and exercise. What we found is a lot of the top students, they actually had a good pattern of eating well and exercising. Now, when we say eat, it doesn't mean that, yeah, now Christmas is coming up, I'm gonna be chomping. Because what happens, yeah, this happened to me last year. Have you ever done that thing where you're just eating, 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 and you go for seconds, you go for dessert, and you go for extra dessert, and at the end, you're like, Ugh. you have that little food coma, is it just me? Now think about that, if you put fuel in a car, that car is not meant to shut down, is it? Right, food is meant to be fuel. So when you actually eat food, it's actually meant to give you energy, not take away your energy, which means that you put the wrong fuel into your body. I'm not saying, I'm not giving you any dietary requirements or anything, but I'm saying, start to study the foods that actually make you a bit sluggish. So when you get into that revision season, maybe you want to start to replace the fizzy drinks with water. Maybe you want to start to replace the chocolate bars and, and all the chicken with fruit. Why? Because the worst time to go into a food coma is just before your exams. 